Ascend Bridge Solutions is pleased to provide a demonstration on CMM Simon. This application was created to provide value to the quality control departments and increase productivity and accuracy. CMM Simon is a flexible solution that can be utilized as an end-to-end -end solution or as an extension of your current procedures for more complex parts. The Workbench step-by-step -step process allows the user to take advantage of the CATIA V5 architecture and operates on a complementary basis with existing applications. CMM Simon provides substantial enhancements that automates and documents a number of labor-intensive functions currently being completed on a manual basis. Welcome to the demonstration of CMM Simon for CATIA V5. CMM Simon is an application designed to run concurrently with CATIA V5. Using native V5 functions and commands, we can set up the initial part for processing in the predefined template structure that are organized based on part geometry. Initial part setup is accomplished by using native functionality such as copy and paste or drag and drop. We are only required to open the part that we want to work with and then simply cut and paste the part into the predefined template file before creating the required points. The copy and paste operation in CATIA is also able to maintain the associative link between your design and the copy of the data. Once the part has been pasted into the part geometry body, we can have a look at the rest of the template file structure. This template file structure has been organized to understand the geometry as it is created through the various operations. The first part of the demonstration will show you how the application accomplishes surface preparation and automates point creation while establishing control of point distribution. Welcome back to the demonstration. Now that the part has been placed in the correct body, we can look at surface preparation requirements. Within the CMM Simon application, there is a requirement that the part to be worked upon be composed of a single skin or that the operator work on individual surfaces for each operation. Native CATIA workbenches such as shape design can be employed to accomplish this task. The operation that you are seeing allows the operator to create a distribution of points on a surface located on even body grid lines. The operator has to simply select the operation from the menu and then enter the parameters. In this case, we are going to create an even distribution of points on a surface. They are located on even body grid lines in order to adhere to industry standards. This task has been automated to maximize operator efficiency and reduce input mistakes. The operator only needs to enter the required spacing as well as correct part orientation. Once these have been selected, the operator selects the surface from either the history tree or from the actual part. By creating points on the surfaces with this operation, the operator will save time and dramatically improve efficiency with their everyday tasks. Once the initial calculation is complete, the operator now needs to update the part in order to remove any points that have not fallen on the surface. As you can see, this is necessary for areas where there are holes or large voids. This automatic feature also prevents the operator from having to spend time creating all the supporting geometry that is usually required for operations of this type. Once the operation is complete, we will take a quick measurement to illustrate the created point values. The operator is still free to create additional points on the intersection curves that are subsequently hidden after the operation. In the next piece of the demonstration, we will automate normal line creation and allow flexibility for the control of the vector direction.
Now that the points have been created using the previous operation, the operator can create the lines, vectors, on the appropriate surface points. From the menu, select the Line Normal on Surface operation. This function was automated to increase accuracy and efficiency. Once the operation has started, the previous points can be selected manually or automatically, and then the normal lines are located on the points. The operator needs to set the normal direction. This will create a vector line normal to the surface either in a positive or negative material orientation. CMM Simon provides the operator control of the vector length and direction to allow some flexibility. Here, it was set to 10 millimeters. Through native V5 commands, we can create any supporting geometry for use in the automated trim point creation tool, which also gives the operator control over required parameters. The next repetitive task that under normal operation can be very time consuming for a CMM operator is the creation of trim edge points and the associated normal vectors to the surface and the edge. This task has been automated to allow fast and accurate geometry creation and will reduce the time for point vector creation. This also allows the operator to export the results in XYZ IJK format for use in CMM measuring equipment. For this operation, there needs to be some general support geometry created first. The operator can use standard CATIA operations such as boundary and extract to add an edge curve. This operation adds two vectors for each point created, one along the surface normal and one along the trim edge normal, with points being created at even grid coordinates. CMM Simon provides the operator full control over vector length, interval spacing, normal direction, and folder naming conventions. The CMM Simon application can also be used to process embedded general dimensioning and tolerancing points and provide tools for creation of surface points around holes, slots, square, oblong, and other irregular shapes. CMM Simon provides the ability to incorporate your customer's quality standards. A number of OEMs are starting to request alignment inspection points as part of their QS and ISO standards. This information is usually embedded in the model and associated with the general dimensioning and tolerancing data. By using the copy and paste with link, CMM Simon can capture the point information from the GD&T and implement the points into the working part. An associative link is created that maintains the design intent between the two parts. This permits changes in point locations in the master file to automatically be incorporated into the working file with little operator interaction. The CMM Simon application also allows the creation of surface points located around round holes, slots, oblong and square, and other irregular features. This application has dedicated commands to create CMM points at specified intervals on the desired features. Also included in the CMM Simon application are operations that will offset curves and boundaries by user-specified values. After using regular CATIA V5 functions to create the supporting geometry, an operator can use the points on curve operation to generate point data on the features after specifying the number of intervals, the length of vector, and the vector direction. Once complete, this information can then be output using the CMM Simon application in an Excel or PC DMIS formatted file. Next, we are going to show you how the application can output point data in two different formats, Excel and PC Demos. Once the points have been created using our previous methods, the XYZ IJK data can be output to Excel or PC Demos by simply selecting the normal lines associated to the points required for output, they are then sorted automatically in the order requested. For this operation, we will output the selected data. First, sort the data using the sorting operation and setting the required options. In this case, sorting in the order selected, with output to include both XYZ and IJK values. The operator controls the output from the sorting dialog. Next, select the file generation and the output option. Here, we select the SP or Surface Points output. The current output format is either PC Demos or Excel. The open file shows the results. 
The next piece of the demonstration will highlight one of the most important aspects of the CMM Simon application. We will import the CMM data and by using the native CATIA geometry, CMM Simon will automatically process the information and verify its accuracy. The last part of this demonstration focuses on the import of CMM results from a PC DMIS formatted file. To start, the operator selects a CSV, comma, separated values file outputted through PC DMIS. The data is imported followed by the creation of the points in 3D space. By selecting the Create Points icon, the points are created on the model according to the measured data from PC DMIS. Next, we move to the verification process. The operator simply selects the third icon, Project. CMM Simon automatically takes all the input information and references it against the master model. CMM Simon verifies that the points are in the right location and at the right distance, taking into account material thickness and surface geometry. Then, by comparing the differences between the input data and the actual geometry on the CATIA V5 part, the application accurately determines if the points are valid for tolerance and that the vectors are correct. For the last part of the demonstration, we will output the results in a format that permits access to the information and documentation. Once the verification is complete, the operator is presented with a detailed report that outlines any problem points found during the verification process. The operator can now create two different reports based on conclusions from the CMM Simon application. The major report documents all the points including inconsistency. The second report contains information on the points that were identified to be outside of tolerance. At the completion of the validation report, the operator can view any points that have been referenced in the secondary report for additional investigation through an embedded viewing application. By using this method, it allows the operator to read the data and verify its validity against native CATIA v5 data. This eliminates data and tolerance errors when translating through IGIS or other import tools. This report can be distributed to other members of the quality control team. The document is formatted in standard Windows-based format and can be customized to adhere to your company's standards. Also, integrated into the reporting tool is an embedded 3D XML viewer. The part is included with the document and allows 3D capabilities without the need for additional applications. Any member of the team who receives this document can automatically open up the model and zoom, pan, rotate and view the data in real time. This functionality in CATIA V5 is unique to the industry and provides team members with a better understanding of the processed part. As you can see, CMM Simon is a perfect accompaniment to your current quality control processes. This complementary application provides your organization with enhancements that automates and documents a number of procedures. Some of the benefits that CMM Simon can provide integrates your engineering and quality groups. Quality team can provide immediate feedback and assist in the resolution, automatic trim and point creation, an automated verification tool aligning all data to illustrate the results. A detailed reporting document ideal for managers and quality control personnel. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration. For further information, please contact Ascend Bridge Solutions at 1-905-944-0047.